Here are a few things to consider when you choose your transport mode while exploring Namibia, namely time, budget and safety or adventure. For those with a big budget, organized tours might be the safest bet. Some are completely bespoke, whereas others offer a package with set stops and activities. In this sense, there are also so-called flying safaris, whereby a light aircraft will take you along. Equally, a lot of luxury lodges have their own small airstrips catering to light aircraft, and there are a number of small airports scattered across the country. Check out Scenic Air and African Bushbird for more information. Regular commercial airplanes used to serve Windhoek and Belvis Bay, but Air Namibia went into administration in 2021. A more adventurous option is to rent a car and either get a driver for about 100 to 400 US dollars a day or drive yourself. It's generally safe. However, there are a few things to bear in mind. While a lot of places of interest don't require 4x4, you're most definitely better off opting for a car with a high clearance. And let's be honest, a 4x4 has got your back no matter what. It is more pricey though. As part of your journey might take you via gravel and sand roads, a basic understanding of how to navigate those is recommended. Also, watch out for drunk drivers on a holiday or the day after. If you see a driver doing snake lines, you'll know. And lastly, be prepared for the unexpected and fuel up whenever you see a petrol station and keep enough water and snacks in the car in case you get stranded. All that aside, the feeling of freedom you'll get is very much worth it and probably the recommended travel option if you and others consider yourself a safe and considerate driver. For the railway fans among us, Namibia used to run the Namibia Desert Express between Windhoek and Swakopmund. Sadly, it has been suspended since the pandemic. Starline passenger trains too are no longer running. Then there are intercity buses. Some operate across the border to South Africa and Zambia, as well as private and public shuttle vans or minibuses. Intercape, for instance, operates internationally and covers lots of cities and towns within Namibia, such as Windhoek, Marienthal, Swakopmund and Sumit. Town hoppers and Woolwichia shuttle connect Belvis Bay, Swakopmund and Windhoek, with stops upon the crest or route. You see loads of options to choose from, it is recommended to begin in advance, especially during high season. Enjoy and stay safe!